Singapore is doubling down on investments in quantum technology with a nearly $300 million boost to drive research in the field over the next five years. It's the largest single investment ever made, building on over $400 million spent since 2002. The funds will go towards four areas. The first, to design and build quantum processes. It will also focus on the industry to translate research into real-world solutions. Besides hardware, Singapore is also investing in talent. Researchers will come under a national R&D centre and some 200 PhD and master-level scholarships will also be provided. These four elements, scientific excellence, engineering capabilities, talent and innovative enterprises form an integrated approach in building a quantum ecosystem. We welcome like-minded partners from the region and around the world to join us and collectively harness the next bound of technology for good. This added boost to quantum research is expected to give Singapore a strategic advantage in riding on the next wave of tech advancements. Nicholas Ng finds out where Singapore stands now and the direction it's headed in. This mess of wires, lenses and monitoring devices is an early version of a quantum computer. Researchers use lasers that you see in blue to manipulate ions to store information. This design takes careful work, needing a maze of lenses to be carefully tuned to properly operate. And it's one that can be developed into something fully functional. We still don't know how to construct the best quantum computers. This is a race. This is really a fight in the planet. And uh, we are progressing very fast. Singapore is fantastically positioned in this race because Singapore started to work in quantum technologies 17 years ago. Classic computers like those found in our phones go between yes and no billions of times in a single second. This lets it handle everything from our calculations to our Excel spreadsheets. Quantum computers instead look for maybes in their calculations, a difference that allows them to tackle problems that classic computers cannot. This can be applied to sectors like biotechnology to model diseases and develop cutting-edge medicines, or in finance to handle calculations that we can't solve with current tech. The ability to tackle such problems could give Singapore an economic leg up. Quantum computing will confer on us uh, what we call a quantum advantage and uh, we really have so many economic sectors that can actually leverage on such uh, a quantum advantage. So I will see that there's an economic reason for that. Secondly, there's also a resiliency angle to it. Uh, as you know, there's also a need for us to make sure that we have capabilities to such uh, technologies uh, when the need arises. Large investments are absolutely necessary to be in the picture, to be there. Okay? All the countries that are not betting in quantum technologies will simply be behind, will be buyers of technology, not developers of technology. So this investment is key to maintain Singapore at the top level of the countries that develop quantum technologies. It's hoped that this strategic focus will give Singapore that quantum leap towards a digital future.